Okay, yep, so this is just a first impressions video. I have not played this yet. Uh, I bought it a few months ago and just haven't had time to play it. So we'll play a little bit of it, see how far I get. Um, yeah, just kind of just kind of chill, see what the game's about. Some games are just not my type, but that doesn't mean that I still can't have fun with them. 13 Sentinel seemed like a game I would immediately swipe left on without a second glance. Not because the cover art isn't a looker. On the contrary, I find it to be straight up eye candy. But to me, 13 Sentinels just struck me as just another one of those, the cute JRPG next door kind of games. just have to get used to it as you fight. Now, before I'm called some choice words, have the door slammed in my face and then cast into a fiery pit of smelly hot garbage where only E.T. for the Atari 2600 resides. Let's get all timey-wimey and travel back to 1997. And me, a clueless teen, walking down the aisle of a Toys R Us when out of nowhere I found love at first sight. I plucked its truly alluring ticket and then exchanged it on Revelations Persona, a game in which I completely fell head over heels for, and a series I still play to this day. So I'm kind of wondering now if this is what all the battle scenes are like in this game, because uh, I don't know, I don't know if this is my jam. So you could say that I adore a good JRPG. But as time passed, my relationship with JRPGs was on the rocks. It seemed like there was always a new smoking hot JRPG on the block. Jeez. <laughs> so what could I really do? I certainly oh couldn't get my game on with all of them. So I had to become much more picky about what I played. Sadly, I missed out on some stunners, like Xenosaga and the Tales games. You try it. Don't say I didn't warn you. So why now? What invisible force pulled me into this loving embrace of 13 Sentinels? Why would I have given 13 Sentinels the time of day? Like a cheesy Hallmark movie, it came down to a combination of seemingly random events. Besides, you're a man, aren't you? Why don't you find out? What? What's happening? What's happening here? I'm so confused. Of course there was early 2021 events and COVID. A time when running out and grabbing a new distraction was as easy as the convenience of a warm apple pie. Nothing like spending quality time at home snuggled up with a new game while the rest of the world is on fire. So if I keep playing the game, it's gonna be for this and less of the battle system. <laughs> Another factor was my love for mechs. I mean, who doesn't love a good mech? I just finished my first run of Evangelion, and well, the game's narrative seemed very much like a sci-fi anime from the 90s. Mechs, time travel, brain wiping, it really seems like 13 Sentinels and I would be a match made in heaven. I could see it growing on me, but yeah. Even though 13 Sentinels isn't exactly my soulmate, we're still having fun. I'm trying to ignore all of its quirks that I'm just not attracted to, such as the less than stellar RTS battles, and focus my attention on the big, beautiful story. I don't know, perhaps we could move this relationship to the next level, uh, but with no commitment. I don't know. It's just... Huh? Fuyusaka-san? 
What is she doing here? I... Uh, I think as long as you love each other, it's okay. What? <laughs> Don't mind me! <laughs> Wait! There seems to have been a misunderstanding. 